President Obama is the first commander in chief to write a line of computer code. He learned the basics of JavaScript this week. That puts him among the ranks of 53 million students who coded somewhere in the world in the past year. But as Jerika Duncan shows us, one important group is still far behind when it comes to computer science. Jerika, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Right now, women represent 12% of all computer science graduates, a drop from 37% in 1984. But there's a woman on a mission to change those numbers and get more than a million girls to code over the next 10 years. I turn on the television and I see no girls who look like me that are coders or hackers or engineers. And girls are watching and they're listening and they're saying, you know what, I'm going to opt out. How do you change that? By making technology cool by meeting girls where they're at. Yes. Girls want to change the world. Oh, that's cool. But girls that is not, is that also that? want to have fun, <laughs> which is why Reshma Sujani, founder of Girls Who Code, is in Harlem at a Girls Who Code club where the students are learning to create their own video games. How do you make the legs move? You got to click no costume. Reshma is spreading the gospel of coding, also known as telling a computer what to do. Her reasons for promoting this skill are simple. You can actually lift an entire generation out of poverty through learning computer science and put these young girls on a track to making six-figure salaries. 17-year-old Aisha Samaro is a junior and enrolled in the club at Democracy Prep High School. Oh, that's what he said. Okay, I just figured it out. Figured it out. Reshma is counting on that eureka moment to inspire these girls so they can control and create a digital world and overcome the biggest hurdles of all self-doubt and the cultural stereotype that girls aren't good at math or science. You would never say, I can't read, right? That is just unacceptable in society. But it's acceptable in society for a girl to say, I hate math or I'm not good at math. I've been trying to think of something clever to say to you. There are more than 150 Girls Who Code clubs across the country that teach robotics, web design, and mobile development. What makes it interesting is that you are not you're like, you're the one creating the game now. You're not just sitting down and playing the game. We couldn't live without our devices. We couldn't live without Facebook or Instagram or, you know, Twitter. This is how we communicate. This is how we create. We already inputted does not match with what oh. you have. We're the majority in the workforce. We're the majority in college. We're the majority breadwinners. How can we be left out of innovating? That's actually smart. You should be like you Some of the top tech companies in the world, like Facebook, AT&T, and Twitter, have all invested in Girls Who Code. Judy, Twitter CEO Dick Costolo is one of Reshma's biggest champions. Thanks for coming. Reshma, of course, of course, first and foremost, has just done a wonderful, wonderful things for this organization. They lead from the front. Uh, they practice what they preach. They're at all of the events. They're there early. They're the last ones to leave. So I have nothing but great things to say about all of them. You don't have to be super smart to be a part of coding. It's not about math or science. Um, it's about trying to figure out how to solve a problem. Oh, yeah. And how to find a job in the future. By 2020, there will be an estimated 1.4 million job openings for computer specialists. I don't care if you want to be Beyonce or Hillary Clinton. You got to learn how to code. If you want to be a veterinarian, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a ballerina, technology is critical to whatever you're going to create and build. So learn. Learn how to code. There are already nearly 3,000 alumni of Girls Who Code in 23 states nationwide, a ways away from her goal of 1 million students. But with the help of the Girls Who Code's network of supporters, Reshma Sujani hopes to make progress in those numbers each year. I'm glad to see so many yeah, tech really companies cool. behind that. Very it's cool. fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, you know, she really just wants to make sure that young women have an opportunity and an interest in coding and really trying to support that uh, so that they may actually major in it. Yeah, wake it up over. in Silicon Valley. There you go. Thank Good you. to Thanks see you, Thank, Thank you very much.